What happens when you get approved? Uh, so when you get approved for disability, you, uh, you've obviously been working on this for a while probably, and you get a certain amount awarded to you, and sorry. That's hot mics falling yeah. out of your ears. Go ahead. So, so you get approved and uh, sometimes you, you get your money right away and sometimes you have to follow up and it can be a long process and your attorney's office should be able to help you go through that process. But one thing that's important when you do get approved is that you also become eligible for Medicare or Medicaid depending on which disability program you've been approved for. And so after a certain amount of time you're eligible for that program and you become automatically enrolled. All right, so um, Jason, when you go through this process, you see a, a judge? Yeah, you, well, not necessarily. If you get approved okay. at the initial or recon stage, okay. then you don't have to see a judge. It's just based off of the medical evidence. But when you get to the hearing stage, which is the third stage, which is where most people are approved in this process, you go before a judge. <clears throat> now. The average approval rating right now is 43%. The, here's the issue with Social Security Disability that makes it so hard to evaluate these cases. You have some judges that pay at 10% and you have some that pay at 90%. So there's no uniformity in the decision making, which makes it very hard sometimes to evaluate, oh, is this person gonna get approved or not? And a lot of times it's the judge lotto in, this, in, the, in these things. And so I wish there was a way that the administration could find a way to have some more uniformity in the approval process. And that's a question we get all the time is, what are my chances? Well, it depends on your case, it depends on your judge, it depends on or the person reviewing your file before it gets to the judge. And it's very hard for us to tell clients, you know, with any sort of certainty or even in a range what their chances are. It, it, that's just a really difficult question to answer sometimes. Yeah, and going back to uh, the legal brief where Tim was talking about why is it taking so long, um, auto accidents take a long time but they don't take anywhere near as long on average as, as a social security disability case does. Now there's still going to be auto accidents sometimes where they end up going for three or five years, but 60% uh, of the cases are usually going to settle pre-litigation and the average time on that's about 280 days.